It's morning, Joe and the Schmo. Marco. What's up? Anything else rhyme with show and Marco? Nah. Did you hit the record button? We have to do that every time with you. Yeah, bite me, asshole. <laughs> I'm the Prez. Both of us co-founders of wagertalk.com. Marco, baby, it was me and you from the beginning. It was me and you in the middle. It'll be me and you till the end. And I still don't speak to you about business decisions. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, for as, I mean, when are you around to even do business decisions? I, hey. I mean, you've been all over the, the last two weeks. You've been everywhere but behind the camera. Yeah, so I'm uh, leaving the camera in uh, 12 days again. Yeah. Going to Park City, Utah for a ski trip. Yeah. Uh, Wednesday the 13th, Thursday and Friday. Are you going to host the show? Am I going to host the show Thursday and Friday? Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Oh, well, oh wait, Wednesday. I think I could do Wednesday. I can do Wednesday. Thursday and yeah. Friday. Yeah, Thursday and Friday can be done. Uh, Friday, Wednesday, absolutely not, because that's the day we do videos. Oh, I thought it's that a was, studio. I thought you were going to be like that was the day I eat. But then I was going to say uh, you eat every day yeah, and this, all this the time. Cool. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, what can I say? You done busting my balls? Um, no, no, we're only at a minute and a half. Only in a minute and a half busting. Oh, my but balls. wait, okay. there's more. April more. first, okay. I'm going to Whistler. For five days of skiing. You're hosting those five days. Uh, probably not. <laughs> yeah, you are. No, you probably see, not. We Is might it, I... be equal partners in wagertalk.com, but my personality is bigger than yours, and I demand it. You know what I have to say? Probably not. <laughs> Want it again? <laughs> Why do they call that the bird? I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just, you know, uh, I have, you know, responsibilities here in Las Vegas. You know, some of us do. do yeah, things I'm not buying there. what you're selling, but OK, if that's what you think. OK, no problem. OK, hey, really, really we got a qu- deal. Really quick. Wait, my show. I'm the host. When you're the host, you can talk. <laughs> OK, so here, here bottom line. Psst. Last morning, Joe of the week. I'm going to tell you what's going on at wagertalk.com. The Schmo Marco D'Angelo. Hey, that rhymed. Ho ho! Uh, is going to give you a coupon. Uh, and then we're going to talk three games. But before we do any of that, I want to give a gigantic, massive shout out and thank you to all the hundreds of thousands of people who bought my five-star college basketball play last night. I gave out a promo. It was regularly $30. I gave it out for 10 bucks. Marco, minus three UCLA. They won by five in overtime. It simply doesn't get easier than that. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that, good job, Prez. Well, Got to the finish thank line. Thank you, Mr. D'Angelo. You know, it doesn't matter how you get there. It's just that you got there. And uh, favored in overtime, cover, you, God bless you. Uh, and we appreciate that win. Marco, you and I, in all seriousness, though, you and I do know one thing. And that is, and we've been doing this for a damn long time. That's what starts runs, bro. Oh, absolutely. I you mean, get one of... You get one of those gift wins, and it just propels you. I, I agree. So, you know, Prez is about ready to go on a run, so you might want to get him because, uh, you know, it's better to be on a run than have the runs. So, you know. And... Oh, oh, so good, Marco. <laughs> I've also hey. won seven of my last eight hockey cards. I have a four-pack up at wagertalk.com. You couldn't uh, handle a six-pack? Dude, I can't handle a two pack, but I but I did get but I did get a text today from my fifteen year old daughter. Uh, she's going to a party tonight, and she wants a four pack. Oh boy! Uh, but she wants it of um, the vodka coolers. 
Yeah, so last time uh, her and her friends uh, made me give them alcohol. They went to a party. Uh, I had to pick her up, carry her home, put her to bed. There were eight kids passed out. Three of them were puking. Uh, oh, to be young. Yeah. Daddy of the Year Award right here on YouTube. You you just saw it. Well, Presentation listen, for, for the listen, a, lo- a lot of our listeners are dads, and I will tell you this. Nothing is more important than communication with your children. They're going to drink. They're going to do drugs. They're going to have sex. You're better off, I was going to say, doing it all with them. No. You're better off knowing Uh, what's going on and having the communication than being one of those sticklers who are like, don't drink. If you drink, I'll ground you up. Uh, so, uh, I will take that of the year award. Thank you, Marco. All right. Very good. Uh, can we talk about that coupon I have? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Well, you know, we've been running good. I did lose a 5% last night. Unfortunately, full disclosure, we never hide our losses at uh, wager talk, but even with the loss last night, our record over the last 82 days, uh, we're sitting at 80 and 52, all sports combined for a profit of over 80%. Uh, profit for our clients increase in bankroll and tonight I've got my NBA game of the week normally 25 give you a coupon here MD10 MD10 I'm still in your thunder gonna offer it for ten dollars tonight you can head over to wager talk uh, right now get tonight's play it's up just 10 bucks with the coupon just put MD10 and you will get it or I went ahead just- or I could just you, give it out for free right now. Yeah, you, you could do that. But uh, considering that you like money, I'm pretty sure you won't do that. <laughs> Brother Kyle Anthony, man, we spoke about him yesterday. Before we get into, uh, before we get into uh, some basketball games, dude, this man is 69% in UFC betting over 14 months. And he's taken some dogs along the way. It, that is utterly ludicrous. Uh, if you guys are watching the UFC, uh, he's got to play on. Uh, he's got a big best bet on UFC 235. It's up at wagertalk.com. I don't know what anybody's waiting for. 69 freaking percent. Uh, this guy is free money. Uh, Kyle Free Money Anthony, that'll be his new nickname. Uh, at like mine, what, what what's my nickname at the poker table? Dead Money, right? Dead Money, yeah, Dead absolutely. Money, yeah. <laughs> so head over to wagertalk.com and make sure to get down on that play. Uh, Marco, let's get into it, brother. Um, let's talk NBA first. Uh, the LA Clippers, second in the Pacific, playing uh, Sacramento. Uh, tonight, uh, Sacramento minus three and a half. They're in must win mode. Uh, you know, they've got some teams nipping at them. They, they're holding firm uh, within the playoff position, but it's going to be a hell of a ride to the end. Uh, the Clippers are playing OK. They just lost to Utah, but they beat Dallas. They've won three of their last five games. Uh, Sacramento. Well, this team is, uh, they've lost two in a row and they've lost four of their last five. Um, Where are we going here, brother? Well, let's look at what uh, Sacramento has done. Sacramento has played, they came off a four-game road trip, uh, Prez. They played at Denver, at Golden State, at Oklahoma City, and then finished that up after that trio in Minnesota. Now, Denver's played well all year. Uh, nobody expected them to be as good as they are this season. I tell you, uh, they're the New York Islanders of the NBA, but you probably don't even know who the New York Islanders are. Uh, I know they're not the New York Rangers. Oh, How's that, that? That's good shit there, Marco. That How about is good that? shit. See? And I, got, and I just spouted that right off. I didn't even have to think about it. But you had that big four-game road trip, and then you had the three games with Denver, Golden State, and Oklahoma City. That's a rough trip. You return home, and who do you get when you return home? The hottest team in the NBA, the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, and they played that 140-141 to 141, uh, loss, just a gut-wrenching loss for them. But I'm going to look for them to bounce back tonight. And here's the thing. These are the two teams that 
one of these two is going to get that final playoff spot. I know everybody's still talking about the Lakers and LeBron making the playoffs, and I know the NBA wants that bad, but the Lakers just, they're not a good team. It's as far as LeBron's going to carry them, and I don't think he can will them into the playoffs. Sacramento has been a team that's played well all year. They've lost those four or five, but I'm going to look for them to bounce back at home. And here's a stat I'm going to give you, Prez, that you're not getting anywhere else. Brilliant. If you just pick, if Brilliant. you just pick the winner in the LA Clipper game, the last 30 games, you're 29 and one against the spread. The point spread has only come into play once in 30 games. If they win, they win in cover. If uh, they're an underdog, they either get blown out or win the game outright. 29 of 30, point spread never came into play. I'll take Sacramento tonight to get the job done. It'll be a playoff atmosphere uh, in Sacramento tonight. Take the Kings. Uh, he's Marco D'Angelo. I'm the Prez. Uh, you can find us both at wagertalk.com. <clears throat> Marco's got a big game of the week up at wagertalk.com tonight. It's yours for $10. MD10. Uh, manic depressive. Depressing <laughs> 10. M I, I'm MD depressed 10. every time I get done doing this uh, podcast. As you man. should be, Marco. Yeah. I mean, you're yeah. looking at me. I'm handsome as hell. Oh. I'm a powerful man. Look at this physique. Flat little belly. Robust talkers. I would understand. Humble. I would Humble. understand Humble. why you're depressed looking at yeah, me for it. 20 minutes. I get yeah. it. I get, hey, what can I say? Listen, I'd love to take you on as a project, Marco. Whip you into shape. Yeah, so uh, you want me to take you on as a project and teach you how to play poker? Let's do it. <laughs> the shape I'm going for with you is pear shape, though. I'm already pear shaped. Then I've succeeded. Yeah, yeah. Okay, dude, let's talk some college hoops. Uh, Quinnipiac, uh, Quinnipiac. <laughs> uh, are playing against St. Peter's. I'm, th I'm guessing that's a, a school that likes uh, Christianity. Yeah, yeah. Just, just uh, going out on a limb. There you go. Eight and twenty on the year. Yep, Jesus is with them. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I don't even want to talk about this game. I'm bored. You're bored. Well, let me tell you, we're going to take St. Peter's and we're going to take them plus the points there. They've won their last two games in a row. So I got some momentum going here Ooh. at the end of the season. Quinnipiac, and you just said it, you look at this game and you got a team that's only got eight wins on the season. And you look at the number and you're looking at, they're only plus two and a half. This is too easy. Let's go ahead and take Quinnipiac. Well, actually, we've seen some line movement in this game and the line has actually dropped yeah. from that two and a half. Uh, some sharp money coming in on the St. Peter side, and I'm going to go with it. Quinnipiac is a team, last two games, guys, they've shot just 36 and 34% from the field. Um, four games back, just 37%. That's not what you want with a team laying points on the road. Even though it's a small number, I'm going to go ahead and take St. Peter's here. And I always like to talk about John Q. Public, you know, the average better. And like I said, the average better is going to look at these two teams, look at the records, and just blindly take that road team and say, all they got to do is win. Well, okay. We'll take St. Peter's in an upset tonight uh, for the college uh, free play for Friday. It's too bad there's not like universities called like the Mount of Sinai or the Elijah of the Muhammad. And then they all play each other in like a religious, you know, round robin or something. Should I? I always, on? you know, I always thought a, a, a school that had a cool name that you know you would go to, and you could always say, you know, go to Moorhead State. Oh, oh. look at you! Oh, I get it. I think we all get it, Marco. Oh, <laughs> we don't need an explanation on Moorhead State. State. <laughs> you got anything for us for tomorrow? I do, I do. And uh, let's go to uh, Nevada at Utah State. Now, the Mountain West Conference, that is our hometown conference here in Vegas, UNLV, who sucks, <laughs> let me tell you. Oh, UNLV. like Moorhead? Oh, nice, nice. How far can we take this? Oh, don't you worry, know? I got one coming up after. 
Oh, okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and look. These are the two best teams clearly in the Mountain West Conference. Nevada is the top team. Utah State is second. But I'll tell you what, Utah State's playing with revenge. They got embarrassed at Nevada. 72 to 49. They got blown out in the first meeting. And they're catching Nevada off of their rivalry game. UNLV and Nevada is a big rivalry. Uh, Nevada has just smacked uh, UNLV around the last couple of years like a you know, redheaded st- they're coming off that game all fat and sassy already. I hate that stupid cliche, like a redheaded. I love red-headed. redheads. Well, I, but not redheaded stepchilds. What's wrong with a stepchild? <laughs> I don't if it's know. your there's stepchild just, and this... she's red, if it's your stepchild and she's a redhead, I'm in. Well, sometimes she is a redhead. She okay. changes her hair color a lot. Sometimes she, you know. Okay, she's probably eight. So let's move on. No, she's not. She's 26, and I will keep her far and far away from you. Uh, but let's go Utah State. They are one of the best defensive teams in the country. They're actually ninth in the country defensively, uh, holding their opponents down to like 36.7%. I'm going to go ahead and take them. They're going to be a small dog tomorrow, much like we just talked about with the St. Peter's game. People are going to look at that game tomorrow, look at Nevada, ranked in the top 10 in the country, and a line that they're going to just have to win the game. It's a Saturday game late in the season. The crowd will be wild at Utah State for as much as you can. You know, Utah State, they're not, you know, kids there aren't supposed to drink, but they'll find a way to get it cranked up. We'll go Utah State tomorrow as the free play here on the podcast with the pro with the schmo. The pro with the schmo. He's Marco D'Angelo. I'm the Prez. It's Morning Joe and the Pro, and I want to give out a free pick. Uh, I spoke about this on Puck Time with Alex and Andrew, and, you know, Marco, you always say that, you know, you know I win, but you, you have a problem with my analysis. You know, you're like, give me analysis. Tell me why a team will win. Lay some systems on me, some trends, some facts, some stats. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, tonight, no paper, no notes, all in the head. Oh, that's a scary, scary place. Okay, check this analysis out. You ready? Ready. Washington on the road tonight. This is hockey, by the way. Okay. Uh, playing the New York Islanders. The New York Islanders had a monster game last night. John Tavares came back to the island. The fans were out in full force. The Islanders blew their load six times. Now, Marco, they're younger than us. Okay. But we know, even when we go back to our early 20s, we know that if you blow your load six times in three hours, you're likely chafed the next day. You have hip flexor issues, your groin is sore, your quads are hurting, your thighs can't move. There is no way that they could blow more loads 24 hours. They are spent. I'm taking the Washington Capitals. How's that for analysis? Well, I'll tell you what, though, Robert Kraft's, what, 77? He was back the next day before noon. Okay, but let's talk about Robert Kraft for a sec. (laughs) No, seriously, seriously. What is the problem here? Like, this man should be lauded, applauded. We all wish at 77, not only do we have the stamina, not only can we get it like a rod, but we even have the money to go pay? I... If, if we take this show in the tank, <laughs> can we go any farther in the gutter? What is the problem with what Robert Kraft did, seriously? I mean, other than the fact that it is a sex slavery ring, which is a huge thing, but it's not like he was part of it, and they don't have a note on the door, these women have been sex slaves... Uh, put that aside, what the hell is the issue here? You know, I, 
it's a you know it's a growing problem in the U.S. and obviously out here in Vegas, uh, it's a big big deal here. Uh, that goes on a lot. Uh, to go after the Johns the way they did there, you know the the customers, that you know a little bit of entrapment there. Uh, the cameras, how about the cameras? How many violations of privacy did they break there? The, the whole thing is absurd, but hats off. To Robert Kraft, keep fucking, keep loving, <laughs> keep helping the economy out. You have my respect. I, uh, for me, all you know, kidding aside, uh, you know, make light of him. But for Robert Kraft, you're right. He was there the night before. He was back before noon the next day, and then heads off to a football game. Dude, I need a nap when I'm done. <laughs> it, a perfect analogy when talking about why the Washington Capitals will beat the New York Islanders. I'm the Prez. He's the Angelo. We're out of here, brother. Good show. See you later.